So in a propagation delay, uh, I'm sure like uh, in case of a buffer, everyone know like uh, if the input I will apply zero to one, you will get an output as a zero to one, and the fifty percent of input to the fifty percent of the output, that this particular time, this is known as a propagation delay. Now this propagation delay. There is a two type of propagation delay. One is a TPLH, another one is a TPHL. So here, this is a TPLH. A very common confusion is what is a TPLH and what is a TPHL. So always remember this TPLH. What is a TPLH? TPLH is propagation delay low to high, and this low to high is going to be decided by the output waveform. that means if output waveform is going low to high then you will say this difference this delay is a propagation delay for low to high in case of inverter so if you will give the rising input so definitely you will get an uh, falling output so the 50% of the input and the 50% of the output so this particular time gap it is a propagation delay that means time taken by a signal to propagate from input pin to the output pin so that is a propagation delay now which type of propagation it is it is a tplh or tphl so like i said this lh and hl is going to be decided by the output waveform so in this particular case the output waveform is h to l high to low so that means this is this propagation is a tphl so most of the people become confused they have a confusion like the if i will ask you like what is the propagation delay of your buffer then uh, we what we do we just do the average of tphl and tplh and we say like okay this is a propagation delay so there is there is nothing like a average in sta in vlsi so if anyone is going to ask you like what is the propagation delay of a buffer you can say okay there is a tplh and tphl the tplh is this and tphl is this tplh whatever the value tphl is this that what what does it mean tplh and tphl that means the input and output combination this 50 50 are calculating but this low to high is with respect to the output waveform So if your output waveform is low to high, it is going low to high, then this delay is considered as a TPLH. If output waveform is going high to low, then you can say like okay, this propagation delay, this fifty-fifty difference, that is a part of TPHL. And just to show you, uh, I have mentioned here like both the inputs are same, but both the outputs are different. Output waveforms are different. So that's the reason this. this is known as tplh this is known as tphl now if the waveform is different like uh, if this is for the buffer if this is your input and uh, obviously then this is your output then whatever the 50 50 whatever this this delay this is basically tphl and in this particular case if it is high to low there will be low to high whatever this 50 50 this is tplh so every circuit every input and output combination it will have two type of delay one is tplh and tphl because at the input of that particular circuit or uh, at at input you can apply a rising pulse or you can apply a falling pulse now if you are applying the rising pulse then as per the uniqueness of your circuit of your timing r you will get either rising pulse or the falling pulse it is if output is high to low then tphl if output is low to high then it is tplh so this is uh, all about uh, propagation delay now if it is a propagation delay and if i am saying this is uh, or this is a 50 50 so is it a standard or you can change it when i am saying it is a standard in the sense 
how the tool will come to know like the propagation delay is always calculated between 50 to 50 can you do something can you make certain changes and you can say like okay my propagation delay is between 40 to 60 or 40 to 40 now if that is the case then how you are going to tell the tool are you going to ask the synopsis people like okay i did certain experiment in my experiment 40 to 40 is the right uh, delay the right propagation delay maybe whatever the algorithm whatever the research you have done and uh, you have to change your tool so in place of that what uh, ed industry is saying like okay uh, we will provide you an option to define it somewhere and where you can define it you can define it within the dotlib file because the delay information is going to be part of dotlib file so for that that means there should be certain standard there should be certain syntax which is going to help you to define this 50 to 50 let me just show you that uh, thing so this particular part if you will see input transition rise input sorry input threshold percentage rise input threshold percentage fall input threshold percentage rise and input threshold percentage fall so here if you will see this is a dot lib in a dot lib in the starting itself it is mentioned like it is a 50 percent 50 50 50 50 so that means we are talking about like uh, when we are going to calculate the tplh or the tphl so the input supposed to be 50 or input supposed to be any other value you can you can just mention here so if your dot lib is characterized with respect to the 50 percent to the 50 percent then every designer they have to mention this thing 50 percent and 50 percent now if they have characterized the things with respect to the 40 percent to 60 percent or 40 percent to 50 percent they can mention like for the input side i took it 40 percent and the output side i took the 60 percent so this is already a part of uh, a dotlib file so the tool whenever the tool the prime time tool or the sta tool whenever they are going to do a uh, calculation so first they will see like okay in which particular dot lib this uh, what is the percentage basically so if they have to calculate the stay in, if they have to calculate the propagation delay if they have to calculate the tplh or the tphl so first they will check it here they will see okay like, what is a uh, 50 percent or 50 percent and then accordingly what is a 50 percent 40 percent 60 percent and then accordingly they will go back and they will uh, do the calculation like our uh, facebook page youtube channel for more such updates thank you for watching be expert by expert best of luck